Hi, welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about what are Postgres database parameters, how to create a Postgres database with defaults, and what happens when you create a Postgres database with the current defaults. First, let's start off with what are Postgres database parameters. In simple terms, these are just values that you assign when you're creating your databases. To that effect, let's log in. And I'm currently as the Postgres user, and I'm going to go into PSQL. I'm going to request help for the create database statement. And here we get a few responses. So the first one, it gets assigned the owner. That's the first parameter, along with a template, the encoding, the locale, collation, and LZ types. Now, whenever you create a database, the first and required parameter is the name of your database. If you do not specify the name of the database, you will get an error. But on top of that, there's going to be encoding, locale, collation, and LC types. These defaults are usually set based on your operating system's locale settings. If they are not explicitly specified, the defaults will be pulled in from the operating system. That's what's going to be happening and be utilized for these four parameters. When it comes to the table space, well, this also is going to be assigned by default based on your cluster initialization setting or the default table space of your template database that's being utilized for creations, for new database creations. Let's, gonna, let's step back with that one. I've talked about table space in another video. You can look at it down in the description in the comments there as well. So a table space is a way of organizing the contents of your database, all of it, your entire database contents into a specific directory that you have pre-assigned and configured in your storage area. That's what a table space is. So let's move on into allow connections. Allow connections is a setting that determines whether new connections are allowed or denied. By default, they are allowed. As we can see here, that's the other parameter. And then we have connection limit. Connection limit is really based as of Postgres 13, the default value for max connections is typically set to 100. It could be altered and checked, but that's a, a topic for another video. Last but not least, here is the flag called is template. This is a flag that indicates whether a database can be utilized as a template for creating new databases. Once more, this is a topic we're going to talk into another video. By default, the regular user databases in Postgres do not have the is template attribute set. If you want to see more of these parameters, you can always right click on it. It'll take you to your browser automatically. And you can go directly to the whichever version of Postgres you want to look the details about. And you can scroll down to the values. Now back to our video here. So once we have this set, let's put and practice the test and create a database. Let's going to create a database and I'm not going to specify any name, followed by a semicolon. As indicated before, we're getting an error. So I'm going to create a database, my DB defaults. And let's list the databases available. And notice we have my DB defaults assigned to the user owner Postgres with a UTF encoding, the collation, and the seed types there. And that is how we create databases with the own defaults. Now we just addressed some of the common default parameters here whenever you're creating a Postgres database without specifying any at all. It's worth noting that you can modify these parameters and any others to match your specific requirements by utilizing configuration files or SQL commands to fine tune them to match your desired behavior. That's it for this video. Stay tuned to the channel and we'll see another videos coming soon. Thanks, bye.